There are singers, there are dancers, there are tumblers, comedians, and acrobats. And then there is the Utah Burlesque Flying Circus Dance Troupe. They provoke, they amuse, they entice. They've been arrested in 30 cities, have seen tragedy and triumph, have won awards, and have been booed off the stage, arrested for indecent exposure, and heralded for artistic integrity. My name is Hank Harrison. I saw the troupe live in Reno, Nevada in 1983. Lines stretched around the block, and after the show ended, the audience would not let them leave. The infamous Ring of Fire act that night became the longest running show in the history of stage theater in Reno. It caused a blackout stretching from Carson City to Western Oklahoma. Following the untimely death of Utah Johnson, who was also known as Hancock, depending on how you knew him, the troop became despondent and went on hiatus. However, in response to sporadic sightings of Utah, they continued to perform occasionally. I knew that night in Reno, Nevada in 1983 that I had to document the story of the Utah Burlesque Flying Circus Dance Troupe. And now, I'm pleased to give you the absolutely true story of the last days of the Seattle-based Utah Burlesque Flying Circus Dance Troupe. So just breathe. You go through this every time. I know, I know. It's gonna be good. It's too tight. It, it's, I haven't even tied it yet. Okay. Feels a little tight. Just on my breathe. Face just time. breathe. I'm just breathe. It's not tight enough. Okay. In show business, everything is about you. But when I say you, I mean me. You're on a razor's edge. It's it's an adrenaline thing, you know. You know. The foundation for a good performance is a good foundation. My act involves lard. Lots and lots of lard. Okay. Do I need powder? How's my skin? My brother and I, he's also in the troupe. His name is Throp as well. Sometimes I call him Sammy Boy. That's my favorite name for him. But he's the one who introduced me to this concept. When we were about three years old, we were on the road all over America. We hit every state. I've only not been to two states, Iowa and Hawaii. And someday I plan to go there and perform. They'll love me there. Here, I'm just gonna put this on you. Okay. No. Hmm? Do you need a bracket? I don't know how to do it. I know which one's gonna win. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'll set one up. I'll see. There's a, there's a bit of a stain on this tie. So you call yourself the Utah Burlesque Flying Circus Dance Troupe, but you're based in Seattle. What's all that about? Utah was one of our founding members. He died in a coffee accident. It was a freak thing. It's a freak coffee accident. That was the best coffee I ever had. He's been down here uh, every few days for the last few months. He just always seems to be around. We're talking, we're trying to get things straightened out between us. Um, it's not easy communicating with them all the time, but it's nice to see them around. It's nice to nice to kind of look back and look forward, I guess, at the same time. I go through the same routine uh, every time I get on stage. When I get ready. It's a, it's a scientific process for me. 
you know, I have to get into it. I have to really get into it. And the only way I do that is through a, a kind of a ritual, I suppose. Um, Sometimes his routine can be a little tedious. This is something that many people do not know about Utah. You know this whole, uh, this very popular thing called penis puppetry? He, he was the founder. He was the originator. He <laughs> that <sighs> Ready? Ready. I do this every time before I go on stage. I'm like that gambler in the Kenny Rogers you song. You come at me with a straight flush. I'm gonna call you. That's right. To just be accepted for the performer, for the human that you really are. I'm putting it all out there. And that's just what you gotta do. And that's called defenestration, which is very close to this other thing that I like. You can imagine what I'm talking about, can you not? So what we do is I perform. So do you understand me? Why is the, why is the camera in my face? Oh, come on, I didn't mean to scare you. Come on, come back, come on back here. It's all right, it's okay. You can shine, shine on me. I perform with these things and they become alive. That's why I'm still here. She's looking good. It's the chin, it's Martha's chin that we want. We find a way to dance together. I move with their shapes, they move with me. We interact in the empty spaces. We make a new world. I like Lard. I enjoy Lard. She does, <laughs> she really does. Do you see what I'm talking about? Just this simple little act right here. Two chairs coming together. Two chairs and a woman. Two chairs and a person. I feel pretty good. He's a certifiable Muppet. So what's going to happen? I want you to see me. I take off these lashes. So you are going to back up, and I want you to see this, this action, this action. Pop it! This is one of the best, most popular moves in my dance routine. We go all over the world and people want more. Rave reviews, rave reviews in Moscow, in New York City, in Paris. They love it, they want it, the defenestration. I throw the chairs at the end of the performance out any window I can find. I throw them and they pummel to the ground. You know, we've uh, been doing this routine for about 15 years and I just am so amazed that every time, each and every time I put on this lipstick, I turn into Martha Graham and she embraces me and we make sweet, sweet love. At the end, we collect the pieces and we build a great fire. That's how we have our dinner. Respects his work as a human or as a performer. Let's just, let's just show you one thing. I just want to show you one thing, okay? Can we do that one? Yeah. All right, so I just need to put this kind of out of the way. Get that front and center. Can we just put that there? Okay, get down. You don't gotta tell me. We've been doing this for 15 them. years. Ready? You got me? <laughs> wow. 
I'm really excited about the direction this is going. I think this documentary is going to make it big and it's going to revive the troops' career. I'm, I'm really honored. If you're one of us, being respected as a performer is a thousand leagues, a thousand leagues more important than being respected as a human. In 1975, then I, I discovered a man who built this chest specifically for me. Do you notice the womanly shape? Can't wait, been back far enough. So from here, I feel the rocking motion. What happens when you have rocking motion? Rocking motion. This chair now becomes like a rocking chair. A, a little balanced, honey. Okay. In the middle. You okay, know. yeah, I know, I know. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? We rock together. And I let the motion, the movement, take us away. I don't know where we're going, but we're going there together. We'll get there together, and the audience will come with us. And we say, where is this chair going? I don't know. Where is it going? I feel that it wants to fly. Do you not feel that? Yes. It says, yes. Yes, Miss Drop. I feel it. Yes, Miss Drop. I will project myself out of the window. And I will gently tumble to the earth. Because we all, in the end, find ourselves tumbling to the earth. Tumbling together. But I do not sacrifice my own bones. I sacrifice the bones of the chair. Just promenade. You interviewing them? I invented that move. Martha Graham doesn't need to ask permission on your heels. You should learn from these improvements. You know? They're very colorful ladies. And that's the best kind of lady in my book. And this is how we've been able to perform for many years. And we continue together in our, in our special troupe because I feel that the spirit of, of Utah remains. Humanity is a great thing. I love humanity. It's the people I hate. Folks, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it rob a bank. Wrecked him, Exomnia killed him. My grandmother's 93 years old, doesn't even need glasses. She drinks straight out of the bottle. Well, I never forget a face, but in your case, I'll gladly make an exception. He wants to investigate pretty much everything, you know, and uh, wants to bring up a lot of things that I'd sooner maybe just not discuss. Um, He's really asking a lot of, uh, you know, he's making some investigations, asking about some things that really don't need to be uh, brought to light. And some things in performance don't really need to be investigated. I haven't heard from the troop in two months. They haven't returned any of my calls. Last I heard, they were in Kiev. The footage you've just seen here is part of the many hours I've spent shooting the troop. I'm on my way to Kiev now to help these great artists return to the center stage where they belong. Apparently they're stranded and penniless performing in back alleys and traveling sideshows. I've sold all my belongings and I'm ready to be their manager if they'll have me. Now, all I need is the right person who can fund the return of this legendary group. 
If you have good credit history and want to bring back the true tradition of burlesque flying circus dance, contact me immediately at believeinutah at gmail.com or the Petersburg Hotel in Kiev. Renew the vision. Please have good credit history. Rocking motion. So from here, I feel the rocking motion. 